So I had a coach reach out to me. He wanted to know how to stop the beast offense. For context, he said he won two championships running the beast offense, but he wanted to know how to stop it. I got you. Be sure to save and bookmark this because I'm going to show you exactly what I would do. So the very first thing you want to do is to play the formation, not the field. What I mean by that is the big mistake that a lot of teams make is they have their players all spread it out, all spaced out, and that's what you do not want to do. You want to shoot the gaps, and you want to cause chaos on the first level, meaning the defensive line. If you can't shoot the gaps, at least you need to occupy the gaps. This is going to force clutter, and this is going to allow your players to clean up. You can get into a monster look in the 4-4 Reaper defense to be able to shoot those gaps, but if you see, the second level is real thin. Oh, you can still get hurt, right? But what I would recommend doing instead is going into the Mayday look because this is going to allow you to shoot those gaps, make shifts, but you also got backside help if they go second level. Lastly, what I would not recommend you do is to run like a 3-3-5, three, 3-4 three, three, defense. If you got a thin first level, you're going to get mauled by the Beast offense. You're just going to blow your guys off the ball, go second level, and they're going to break it for a big game every time. And if you want to get your hands on the 4-4 Reaper defense, you know what to do. Just go up to my stand store here. And until next time, beast out. Peace.